All right. This here is a boomstick. <laughs> it's got roughly, what was it, 14, 14 grams-ish of sparkling powder. It's uh, the bamboo wooden stick wrapped in duct tape. This is boomstick one. Boomstick two is more traditional. Yay. It's got the metal wire sticks, it's got the electrical tape, and this has got roughly 42 grams of boomstick powder. We're going to see which one has a bigger boom. The first one up is Boomstick One. Friggin' Run! Run, Cracker, run! Pretty. <laughs> Don't we just kick it off the Here's road or not? the first one. We had to change locations. More secluded and less traffic. This is roughly triple the amount of the previous one, grab the traditional way. We're gonna see if it's traditionally awesome. Yes, yes. All right, what we have here is a purple fuzzy pimp hat. That's my purple fuzzy pimp hat. You may have seen it, you might see it some more. <laughs> Inside the purple fuzzy pimp hat is a bigger boomstick. It's got 1,175 sparklers, um, about eight or nine rolls of duct tape, or excuse me, electrical tape. And I'm not sure how many grams, but one spark, one pack or one box, there's a box of eight. So one box has eight in it. And that eight has the equivalent of 1.4 grams of gunpowder or whatever the hell they use. Well, I've got 1175, so take that divided by eight times 1.4, and that should give you how many grams of powder is in this. I cut the stems off, because so this is all just the sparkling part. The handle is gone. So this should get a bigger boom and weight. I don't know idea how long it weighs. It took me about four hours to make. Why'd you create why'd you clip the stems off again? Well, if you got stems, my theory is... It creates an outlet? Shrapnel. Yeah, that and too. And a better chance of a rocket. Mm, yes. Um, I put cardboard on this side, on the top, and cardboard on the bottom, and then taped it really heavy duty. I went around this way a bunch of times, and this way, and then this way, and then this way, just went ape, ape shit. So, we're going to see if it works. Yeah. Oh, we can run fast enough. Yes. So, yeah. I'm going to go... <laughs> No, you can't get. Oh, there we go. I'm scared. Lay down. I'm no good. Lines, just lay down. Hurry up. I can't. I gotta hold the camera, man. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Sorry. It's all right. Well, I don't know if you can hear it, but after it blew off, we were hiding behind some drums, like this one right here. With some strange holes in it. Someone got mad. Mm. Well, we we're hiding behind these is, is a shield, and when it went off, the uh, the drums actually echoed, and I felt a shockwave, and a bunch of dirt went in my face. My face. Let's see, we were standing. I would probably guesstimate. Actually, thirty. Yeah, thirty. Thirty. <laughs> Good enough for me. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. This has been a cause and effect team production video. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Please. Please. We, we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>